everybody. I am so excited to be taking you through this month's box. If you clicked on this video, chances are that you know the theme is road trip. And the brain health pillar that we're focusing on this month is physical activity. And you might be thinking, Christina, if we're taking a road trip, we're gonna be sitting most of the time, so how does physical activity tie into that? And that is exactly what I want you to think about. The amount of time that we spend sitting, whether or not we're in a car, we spend a lot of time sitting. So how much time do you actually make for physical activity in your everyday life? Now, I know that when I've been on road trips in the past, I actually end up getting a lot more steps on my Fitbit than I do normally because I'm out of my routine. And whenever I get to that destination, I want to explore it, right? That's part of the fun of, of a road trip is not only seeing the sights along the way, but stopping to admire all the new places that you're visiting. So with that in mind, I want you, regardless of whether or not you actually are on a road trip this month or not, to think about the amount of time that you spend sitting versus the amount of time you spend exploring new things, new ways to move your body. Um, and that is what a lot of the focus of this box is, learning new things that you can do with your body, but also learning new things about the, the spaces and places around us. So without further ado, let's dive in. So first up, we have our pamphlet. Now I always recommend that you guys go through this first before you dive into the box um, because it has a lot of good information about why we chose the product, how to use some of the products, but I did get some feedback that there was a lot of text in the pamphlets. Now, I'm a former writer and editor, so admittedly, because I love words so much, I tend to use a lot of them. And so what I did was I sat down with the pamphlet and I designed something a little bit different. There is significantly less text in here, but it does take you through sort of a map of how to use the products along our road trip. Um, so I hope that you enjoy this new format here. Without further ado, we're gonna start with the memory jogger this month. Now in your box, you either have a Matchbox or a Hot Wheels car. I had the pleasure of meeting Vic from Functional Histories and he has a crazy collection of these Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars. So he went through and hand selected every car, every vehicle, that is in the boxes this month. And he selected older ones from the 1940s to the 1970s to jog your memory back then. So I'm holding a 1961 Ford Ranchero. Drop a comment below, let me know what you got. Did you ever ride in one? Are you familiar with that car? Is this something new that you're learning about? I would love to know. I am obsessed with this idea. And Vic from Functional Histories, thank you again for taking the time to treat our subscribers to their individual Matchbox or Hot Wheels cars. So now we have the vehicle that we're taking this road trip in. What's next? Deciding where to go, right? So to help you with that, we have included this all about the state's search a word puzzle. And inside is every state and the words that you're gonna search for are different cities, different attractions, state motto, things like that that you're gonna find in these word searches. And the thing is that we're learning a lot about the states as we're searching for the words and it's gonna help you uh, narrow down where you wanna go based on what piques your interest the most. So at the beginning of this video, we talked about physical activity and how it ties into a road trip. So to help you out, we've included a pedometer. So you're just gonna undo this clasp here and you're gonna reveal the digital counter. Now when you get it, you're gonna hit clear and you're gonna do that at the beginning of every day. And then you're gonna close it and use this little clip here to tuck it onto your pants. And then you're gonna forget about it until the end of the day. And at the end of the day, we're gonna take it off, we're gonna look, and we're gonna discover whether maybe we were a little bit more active than we thought we were going to be. Maybe there's room to incorporate more walking or more activity throughout our day. So it's a really good gauge, you just set it and forget it. And at the end of every day, you get a gauge of how much you moved throughout that day. Or, you know, on a road trip, how much we explored that day. Next, we have a magnetic helper. So this is great for finding buried treasure along the way on your road trip. 
And when you get back home, it's also really great for getting uh, to magnetic things that have maybe fallen into a space that you can't quite reach, or maybe your knees are bothering you that day, and it's great to just kind of pick up something that you've dropped on the floor. So you have that included to find buried treasure. Uh, next, as we go along on this road trip, how do we keep track of where we've been? You're going to use your where have you been map. So you're going to color in all the states that you've visited and you can go ahead and color in states that you've already been to and maybe that'll help you narrow down where you want to go next. If you've already visited a state, maybe you don't want to go back there, maybe you want to go explore somewhere brand new. Or maybe you're going to use it to say, hey, I've been to Pennsylvania before and I really loved it, so I want to go back there. So you're going to use this to color in all the states you've been to and identify if you want to go back there, if you want to visit somewhere new. And you can also hang this up. You know, the, um, the back doesn't matter as much, so you can always hang this up in a place where you can see it and kind of create some vacation plans from there. Next, what happens on a road trip? Inevitably, we get bored, right? And sure, there are great uh, car games out there like I Spy and 20 Questions, but sometimes you just need to hold something. And to help you with that, we've included this tricky triangle. So I've seen these a lot in Cracker Barrels um, along the way, but I wanted to include it because it's a lot of fun. It's sort of a mindless game, but if you get really into it, it becomes a very mindful game. And there are lots of different ways to play. It comes with a bunch of different pegs, so you can just hop over each one until you have collected all the ones that you can. Um, you can play and try to collect all the red ones without disturbing anything else. There are so many different ways to play this, and because of that, it makes a perfect road trip game. So lastly, what better way to connect with our loved ones back home than to send them a postcard. So these were created by our small business spotlight this month, Maria Walenta of Butt Mama. And if you're curious about the name, that is what her son calls her and the name stuck. So she made a business of it. How brilliant. And she created these postcards for us. And they say it is almost impossible to watch a sunset and not dream. And I just loved that quote because regardless of whether you're on a real road trip or whether you're imagining a road trip through the items in this box, our imaginations expand when we learn new things. And I don't know about you, but when I see a sunset in the sky that is like so vibrant and has like every color imaginable in it, it does make my mind wander and dream a little bit. And I think it's great to remind ourselves that it's okay to dream and let our minds wander. Um, and it can make us feel really grateful when we see one of those sunsets for just having simply watched it. So I thought this was a great reminder and also a great way to connect with your loved ones. Um, there's a spot on the back for the stamp and the address and then your message to them. So thank you to Maria for creating these for us. Something that I don't usually talk about but was really excited about this month is the playlist that's on the back. So I know it's on the back and it's um, easy to miss, but there is a QR code and a link down below um, that you can type into your browser to listen to this month's playlist. So this month, all of the songs there are related to a road trip and it kind of takes you through, you know, getting on the road and then what you're doing on the road and then going back home again. So I really love that playlist. I've had it on repeat for the last week. So let me know in the comments down below if you have listened to it and what you think. What's your favorite song on there? I think mine is Hit the Road Jack. Um, although there's a ton of really great ones. Hotel California is one of my favorite songs ever, so maybe that one. Um, so let me know what you think of the playlist. Music is one of the greatest ways that we can stimulate our minds, um, bring some positivity to our lives also. So I really wanna know what you think of this playlist and of the box. So let me know in the comments down below, what was your favorite item? Um, what would you like to see more of or maybe less of? Uh, did you like the way that we did the pamphlet differently this month? And I will see you next month. I am so excited already for that box. So I will see you then. Thanks so much for watching.